his breakfast this morning. You both grumpy right now. That's why I'm actually happy I gained 10 pounds. Glory be to God and this is the truth. I should have got my what you call it, the cow. Huh? Should have got my, my jug on the call. You got yours. Uh-huh, I'm gonna bring mine. Ugh. So, I can drink some water. Drink me some water. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't feel like going all the way to the cow. I mean, I wouldn't either. And then come back to the house? I don't know. I don't know how to. I'm gonna just give me a bottle. Right. Ask for a cup of ice or something. Mm. I'll just do my bottle of water. I'm gonna say, maybe just bring a bottle of water. Uh, hey, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. Me and Sunny are getting ready to go get some food. We both grumpy right now because just stuff. This ain't even grumpy. This off. O-F-F. -F, all caps. Like, Lace was um, rap. Weird. Like, Lace was rap song. Literally. All caps. She need to um, make us a rap. Right. Uh, um, mm-mm. <laughs> Oh wait, you wanted the acai bowl first? Child, I want some food food now. I'm gonna bump that bowl. I'll get that bowl probably after. I still want it. Caruso's crazy. Is this his, or is it down there? I'm just trying to get the vibe here. You me? Mm-hmm. Of course. Let's give it fabuloso. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and shines for sure. Thank you. Ugh, not me with no chance. You would you rather have this one? <sighs> Why? Because she giving me that she likes irritating. You never know people's situation. And it's like, why ain't you just sit this right here? You probably didn't see the chair because I didn't even notice it. I didn't notice that there was no chair. Uh, I didn't notice there was no chair. And that's all. <laughs> I only saw pictures. Oh, you saw pictures. I didn't even get no pictures. Yeah, and you're showing me a picture. Oh, let me get you. Okay. Spicy tuna avocado balls. Sounds disgusting to me. Mm. Uh, all right, know what I already know what I'm wearing. Japanese pickles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's sticky. That's sticky rice. Right. I shouldn't even eat two rolls of that. But I don't. I don't want a ramen right now. Fully loaded with corn, scallions, bamboo, nori, wood, deer, mushrooms, beans, sprouts. My spicy. Mm -mm. I'm gonna do my sushi. Girl. Chirp chirp. Twinkle twinkle. <laughs> so they talking, honey. So let's see what kind of starters they have. Tuna, tartar, mm. spicy rock shrimp, sheer fatty salmon, Cheeto peppers, soup and salad. They got miso soup. Go give me a azaibo. This is what we got to eat for our appetizer. It is called a spicy rock roll, a ball. Spicy rock ball. It says. And then this is our spicy shrimp. Period up. 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 <laughs> I have to really do some research on why my camera does what it does. Yeah. Videos is cool in the right lighting. Mm -hmm. Video is cool. Everything else? But I know, guys. I think it's just the. Let's try it. Let's drink. Grace and peace and good morning, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you. It is a new day. 
It is early in the morning. Getting my work day started pretty, pretty early. But I wanted to show you guys some items that I got from um, Nordstrom Rack. So you guys know I'm going to Costa Rica at the end of the month. And I wanted to show you guys some pieces like I'm trying to get prepped and all of that for the trip a little early on So that way I'm not scrambling towards the end of like the last couple of weeks because the last week before I leave is a lot of like Body prep so like wax hair done nails done feet done doo, 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 doo. Like it's a lot of that so obviously I want to make sure all of my outfits and shoes and jewelry and accessories and all those things are done and covered and packed if not on the bed you know what i'm saying before i do all of that because i'm trying to make sure this is super easy process so let's get into it so i went to nordstrom rack yesterday and i'm whispering because that's just how i am early in the mornings i cannot yell early in the morning and i'm just in a very peaceful peaceful state this morning i wanted to show you guys my items from nordstrom rack so let's get into it taking a quick break from work. Today is gonna be a busy day, but when I found some downtime, I am going to be cleaning my house. Like, oh, got my worship music on, my ambient worship music. Um, But yeah, like when I have some downtime, I'm going to literally clean this house. When I tell you my apartment right now is a catastrophe and I really can't even think straight. I don't even know how I'm in here right now without like ready to lose my cool, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I wanted to make some tea. Mm. Yeah, I just wanna make a little bit of tea this morning, trying to get myself together. So I just finished something for work. I'm getting ready to dig into these boxes and kind of sort out these other clothes that I have to shoot for another campaign. There's been a lot of like fashion campaigns that have come my way, glory be to God. And it's been one of those things that I've been like hustling and wrestling with because people ask me all the time, you know, about like my fashion and let me not put quotes around it, about my fashion, my modest fashion. And you know, it's just cool to work with brands just to kind of showcase that a little bit more too. So um, Sunny's gonna help me with some photos today and I'm really excited, I gotta make sure Thank you, Lord. Make sure my camera charge that I like to use for high quality photos because I will bust around and not even have my stuff charged. Um, so I'm getting ready to dig through the box real quick to kind of sort through that. I have another campaign to work on. It should be very, very quick. So I'm gonna get that knocked out by 12. I have my weekly meeting at 12 and then I have another meeting at three. And then at some point, I'm trying to see how that's gonna work. It'll ha I'm gonna have to go get those pictures after three o'clock. It's gonna have to be that because, and that meeting shouldn't be that long, I don't think. But yeah, I have to get some stuff in order, y'all. So, and I canceled my gym session this morning. So I'm gonna go to the gym this evening. I'll have to do an evening workout because I just did not have time this morning to do that. I would, I would still be, I would be back home by now, but I'd be wrestling and trying to hurry up and get stuff done. And I'm like, I'm not doing that, my work. I need to get my work done first. I can work out anytime. And I'll be honest, y'all, I honestly cannot wait to finish my work. It might not get done today. Today, but tomorrow I might take tomorrow off like because I got to finish all this work today I might take tomorrow off and just focus on I have when I say my wa let me show y'all when I say my wagon is full of boxes like look at it look at it like it's a mess my house is a mess it's not dirty it's just i got stuff everywhere and it's just a lot going on um like i got boxes by the door i have to figure out this situation because i'm i'm not enjoying this area right here at all i'm already met with clutter that i don't i don't like that anyway um can't show you guys everything but I got some really cute pieces. I'm still working with Macy's, glory be to God. So I have some really nice pieces um, that I'm working with Macy's on to showcase. And I'm, like when I say I'm in my color bag, like color bag. Shout out to Macy's. Okay, I got my clothes laid out for that. And y'all, when I say I got clothes everywhere, like I had some laundry, they're folded, but I got some laundry right there. I got folded clothes 
on top of my bed. Yeah, I started to piece my office together for Costa Rica. So I got clothes just laid out on the bed. So I've been sleeping on one side of my bed, which is, I just have to do a major reset. I've been working, I've been moving and grooving. I just need a reset, a major reset. When my house is not in order, I do not feel like myself. Even trying to be cute or go out, I'm like, why would you even leave your house a mess? And you gotta come back to that. Like me and Sunny went out yesterday and honestly, I just had like a stressful day. So yesterday I really didn't care. I was like, I'm going out. So we spent the evening out and it was really great. So I got all of that stuff sent out. So I'm gonna have to finish piecing the outfit together because some of these don't have like a full, it's not like a full, full outfit. So I'm gonna have to put maybe like a pair of trousers or something with it. Y'all, I don't know about y'all, I cannot stand stuff in my sink. Like what is that? Um, but once all of that is done, your girl will be able to sit down, chill. Braids may have to ride another week. I wanna take these braids out today, but they may just have to ride like one more week because the last thing I really have time to do is my hair. But then again, you have to make time for it. So if I sit down and make time for it, I'll have time for it. So. <laughs> I just haven't done that yet. I've had these braids in over a month. I got my braids done March, like March 6th. And um, yeah, I got these joints done March 6th. And currently it is April 9th. All right, you guys, I'm gonna put y'all, actually, let me see if my other camera is charged because this one is dying. I told y'all this camera does not hold a charge. That battery is very like, I don't know. Let me see if my other one is charged, BRB. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know why I'm filming on this anyway. Moving on. Moving on, got my wide angle. Okay. What was crazy is I did my makeup for one brand. Now I gotta take it off to film this other brand. This is an update. Last vlog I was talking about how I was in a funk. The funk has been lifted, y'all. I've had a breakthrough. The Lord is good. Me and Sunny talking yesterday. I texted her this morning. Cut my finger again. I texted Sunny this morning. I was like, girl, breakthrough, honey. Breakthrough, breakthrough. When I tell you, I'm, look, I'm so looking forward to cleaning. Ugh, I just cannot wait. Like, my house is still pretty clean. It's just stuff is just everywhere. And that makes me stressed because I'm like, my little headband on. I got this headband from Verse, which is a makeup brand that they're sold in like Target and stuff. But I'm starting to see more of these everywhere. Like, they sell them in Ulta. This color I haven't seen anywhere, but they have like pink, cream. I've seen black. I was even in anthropology shopping for clothes and saw one of these. I was like, oh, these things are everywhere. I love it. I need my other phone. Y'all, I, I gotta show y'all something. I just got these little coach sandals. I ain't been showing y'all nothing I've been buying. I got these cute little coach sandals. Very cute, very cute. Um, I kind of already have a pair of sandals that are like that. They're the Doc Martin brand. The Doc Martin brand, they're very big and thick. These are a little less all of that and I wanted a pair for that um just like a simple little sandal to wear <laughs> and I don't want to wash it off because today is one of the days I did my makeup oh I did not want to take my makeup off y'all did my eyebrows good everything good the things we gotta do to film content y'all y'all I'm giving y'all a sneak peek of my panel dress no one is too much and I don't feel like my, I'm just spilling out of it. I don't, I don't think this compliments me well at all. And I'm irritated now because, ah, Jesus. Alrighty, you guys, I'm getting ready to hit it out. Got some more photos to take. We are working with Macy's today and ah, I am counting down the minutes to when I can get off today because I know earlier I was talking about waiting till tomorrow to like clean. That might be a job of tonight. And then I'm gonna go to the gym because I just can't, I just can't even take myself seriously being in the house. Even being cute right now, I can't do it. as well with all of you i am um i got some in my throat this morning and 
You want your butterfly? I slept pretty well last night, <clears throat> but I woke up this morning with like a with something in my throat. So I'm just trying to figure out where that came from. Yeah, so <clears throat> um, anyway. <coughs> See, it's still there. I am um, gonna get ready for the gym here in a little bit. It's 7.26 in the morning. I got up around like 6.30 just because I couldn't really sleep after that. Folded these clothes that was looking at me when I came into the living room. So I got those folded, so I'll put those up at some point today. I have a little bit of work to do today. It's kind of like busy work. I have a lot of editing I need to do. I have a meeting. Um, I need to handle some stuff, like some financial stuff organize a few things um and i would like to do all of that <clears throat> i would like to do all of that by six o'clock because i'm going to bible study today i missed last wednesday for oh uh, man i think me and sunny had went somewhere i can't remember i just i just remember us driving and i was like i had got a notification for um bible study to watch it online so we started watching online <clears throat> But I was like, I definitely want to go to the house of the Lord today for Bible study. So I want to get everything done by six. So it will be a tight day. Thing, it'll get me on schedule to end my work day around five o'clock, no later than six. Cause mm -mm. But yeah, I'm gonna spend a little time with the Lord, get my mind right, get my mind together. My stomach is honestly bothering me this morning and I don't know why. So I'm gonna go deal with myself and I'll be back, BRB. for today's workout I have none if you want words for today's workout I don't have it I don't have it I don't have it <laughs> I don't have any words for anybody I do my daily deposit I ain't done in the last two days who am I I've been ripping them off the wall but I just ain't been recording me ripping them off the wall I know I don't like that that scared you that I've been super consistent with it up until this point let me not slow down Today makes a full month. I still gotta complete my last five days, but today makes one full month. Stop playing with me. This ball empty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. The sun is not out that much today. Got a little bit of a gloomy-ish. Well, it looks like it's gonna come out. Maybe later. I personally just like having a super like sunny day, obviously. <clears throat> but it is time to make breakfast. But outside of everything, I feel amazing. I feel really good. I feel real, real good. There's a video I wanna to post today. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, but. I'm just kind of talking a little bit about like body dysmorphia and just dealing with feelings of that. We coming up against that in the name of Jesus because that's not going to be my portion. That's for sure not going to be your portion. And you're going to love your body at every stage because your body gets us, our bodies get us through life. We just critique ourselves so much or let me not put y'all in the category. I know I critique myself so if anybody can test attest to that then join me but yeah we're not doing that no more mm -mm. that's why it's like if i start to look at my body I, and now that i'm not necessarily doing that anymore i'm gonna tell y'all why if you remember some months back i had kind of changed up what i was wearing to the gym and i was only wearing sweats so i didn't really like I don't think I ever really fully said as to why I was going straight on just wearing sweats to the gym, like oversized clothes. But it was because I was trying to combat the thoughts that I was having around my body. I was really dealing with body dysmorphia really bad. And I was, I mean, I was looking at every little role, every little this, every little that, and just saying, oh my goodness, I don't look good. That can really take over your mind to where you are never satisfied. 
you're never like, at least for me, my kind of own personal definition is I was never satisfied. Nothing that I would do would be like, oh yeah, I, I did it, I made it, I got it. No matter what weight I would lift, yeah, I'd be like, oh, that, that's crazy, that's good. Like I remember watching this video clip and if I can find it, which I'm going to make sure I find it so I can show you guys. So look at this clip real quick. Me not contract. So I don't know if you can see on my face, like they were cheering me on because I just like cleaned 45. Well, I had 45 plates on. That was something I had been trying to work my strength up to get for months, like for a couple months. And I had finally got it. And they were cheering me on like, yeah, let's go, let's go. And I was like, because in my mind, one, I don't, I don't, I just don't like a whole bunch of eyeballs on me, but I felt like I had eyes on me, which was okay. So I was getting kind of shy. But also I knew that feeling that I was having at that moment was like, I mean, it's all right. But I was ripped up. I was I was lifting super heavy. Could I clean that right now? I don't even know, to be honest with you. <laughs> but anyway, so saying all that to say, it's just so crazy how we treat our body sometimes or how I was treating my body at that time. So going back to wearing sweats to the gym, that's why I was wearing sweats to the gym because I, when I was in the gym, I did not want to look at a mirror. When I had a trainer at the time, I really loved that gym because they didn't have any mirrors in there. And for me, it was like, okay, I'm not trying to look at myself. I'm not like, ooh, when I look like this. Like, I'm not looking at that. I can't see anything. So my focus is just getting the workout done and getting out. Then when I would get home, I would be in the mirror all day long, just like, mm, mm, mm. Like just always critiquing something and it was so unhealthy. So I'm, I'm giving all glory to God that I'm no longer like that completely. I can't say I'm not like that at all, but I still have my ways a little bit. But I'm in a de I'm in a in a healthier place when it comes to my mindset, when it comes to working out my body and all the things. That's why I'm actually happy I gained 10 pounds. I'm actually happy I'm training myself now, like because all of that that I went through the last two to three years with being overweight for my age and size and, and height and all that, um, to being. I guess the size I needed to be or whatever. But now looking back, I got a little too small because I was under eating. So like now I'm looking at myself like, okay, I'm eating enough. I'm 142 pounds. I'm, I look full. I look filled out. Like I look, look good. So I'm excited. So I wore sweats at that time to really combat those feelings that I was having because it was bad, y'all. It was bad. And I, and I hate to even say how bad it was, but it was bad. And I was like, Jalen, you need to love yourself more. You do not need to treat yourself like that. People are inspired by your journey. And here you are at home just thinking you ain't really doing much. And it's like you're doing too much comparing. You're doing too much doubting. You're being mean to yourself. Like God is proud of you. What are you doing? So I had to do a lot of crying out to the Lord, a lot of sitting with the Lord regarding that stuff and, you know, all of that. So saying all to now. Uh, so fast forward to now, I'm in a healthier place, y'all. So I don't critique myself as much. I do sometimes, but if I have a thought that comes up, you know, I cast my, I take my thoughts captive. You know, I put my thoughts under submission of Jesus. Like I do it immediately. I do it immediately. For instance, <clears throat> here we go. Here's one thing that I do. So I want y'all to be able to see good lighting. Can y'all see? I want y'all to be able to see what I'm talking about and show you how ridiculous, like, I critique myself. Okay, so here I am, right? I just drank my protein smoothie. So, how I am and how I wanna be is like, there's no, there's no bulge. Everything is just flat, which I'm getting there. But it's a process, right? But this little area right here, this little, this little pudge is so, hear me, it's ridiculous. This little pudge be bothering me, okay? Like it be bothering me because sometimes I put my legs on, I'm like, mm, okay, I'm flat here, I'm good, good. And I'm like, why does this little area just stick out so much? But again, that's like the womb area. Like you got organs and stuff in there. And it's like, Jalen, please, it'll go down eventually. Like it'll go down, but like stop critiquing yourself so much on little things like that. So when I tell you I would critique every little inch of my body, right? Every little inch of my body, I would do it. And like I said, I know it was not healthy. But I've always, I'm always vulnerable here on the internet, so that's that's just how I would think sometimes. So now, like I said, I'm in a healthier place, so that's why I have released myself of just wearing sweats at the gym because honestly, it was not the most comfortable thing for me. I did it because I wanted to commit to it, and I did it for like a couple months. 
Um, and a lot of my working out was off camera. I didn't even record because I was like, mm, whatever. But um, I still may wear stuff like that to the gym just because I definitely am, uh, I, have, I have actually gone into more modest apparel when it comes to the gym. Um, so just want to be more covered and just all the things. And that's just where I'm at and I'm very comfortable and confident in that. Um, but honestly, wearing those thick sweats to the gym, I'm asking to pass out, honestly. So I have released myself of that <laughs> just because I'm in a healthier place. If I wasn't in a healthier place, I would still be in those sweats. And if you see me in sweats again like that, it doesn't mean I'm back at that place. It just means I probably just want to wear sweats that day. Who knows? But I have released myself of that. Because I know I said in the last vlog, I was going to talk to you guys a little bit more about like my body, where I'm at with my weight and all the things. And that's where I'm at. Um, when I was smaller and I was so lean, all these things, I was bouncing between 130 and 135. I am now a steady 142. And I love it. <laughs> and I love it because I just look more filled out. Let's talk about, oh, I want my grown woman room. I want my grown woman lifestyle, whatever. Well, I also want my grown woman body. And I'm saying you gotta gain weight to have a grown woman body, but in just talking about me, in my body, I just wasn't feeling as like, whatever. So now I'm feeling like that and I, and I definitely want to maintain the weight that I have now. So I'm happy that I'm back on my meal plans. I'm eating at home. I'm cooking at home. I know what I eat. I know what's going to work for me. And I work out five days a week, six days a week. I work out five to six days a week. Sundays, I do absolutely nothing. Saturdays are my active rest days where I'll go running since I, I'll run outside now. I'm trying to get myself trained to like run like a steady mile or two every day or well, every week. Uh, not every day, but every week, at least starting out. And um, and yeah, that's been a challenge for me because I just, I'm not the biggest runner. I honestly don't like running, but I feel amazing when I do run. So it's like I have to work myself up to run because I just don't like running. Anyway, so that's where I'm at. So, um, so for breakfast, what I usually eat every day is I'll eat an English muffin. I usually do the Bayes brand. You guys saw me get the bacon, two strips of turkey bacon. And either I'll do egg whites or eggs. And I recently have, I recently, I haven't eaten like a normal egg like this in, I really don't even know when, it's been a long time actually because I had kind of switched to only doing egg whites. But not for any particular reason, but I have started implementing these again. So I've been going back to these. Just regular eggs or I'll do egg whites. Which y'all know I shop at the Fresh Market, so I'll do the Pete, Pete and Gary's organic egg whites. That is my breakfast. Um, my lunch and dinner are usually always the same, which consists of some kind of protein, shrimp, salmon, or chicken. Make it at the house. Um, get you a carb, get you some white rice, get you some potatoes, sweet potatoes, get you some kind of green, um, like asparagus, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, um, do something like that. Um, a lot of the times my meals, which I'll post up a couple of them here. Sometimes my meals will be like little tacos. I'll do ground turkey and I'll make like these little tacos. Or now I've been doing lettuce wraps if I don't want like all those extra carbs. And I'm trying to stay away from flour. So sometimes the, the, the tweet, what? Sometimes the tortillas that I will get are the flour ones. I don't always want flour because they make me bloat real bad. So um, I'll either go with like the corn ones or I'll just do a lettuce wrap and just do no tortillas at all. When I do those, I'll have ground turkey, a little bit of white rice, some black beans, corn. Um, I'll have some guacamole and some lettuce, some lettuce. And that'll be kind of be like my concoction of like a little chipotle bowl or a um, burrito type deal or you know stuff like that like get kind of creative but again y'all already know i love me some salmon get creative with your salmon salmon bites protein your fats depending on what your goal is i'm i'm trying to do i'm like doing a, a mixture of like muscle gain and some fat loss so i'm getting my fats in Get my carbs in, get my protein in, get my veggies in. And don't complicate it. And for snacks, I eat protein bars, granola bars that have uh, pro like high protein in them, protein chips, which reminds me I need to go to the store. Protein chips, I snack on a lot of fruit. You guys will see me eat bananas. I got strawberries and um, strawberries and pineapple in there. 
um, some pine berries. Go get you an acai bowl, get you some granola, put some fruit in it with some honey. I got Greek yogurt in here. Like, it don't have to be super complicated, and I hope that doesn't sound complicated, but like, I've, I've been in this routine for a little while now, so I'm kind of used to it. So, I'm a picky eater, so me eating like this, I'm, I'm used to it. I've been doing it since 2021 now. I'm so used to it. If I go out to a restaurant, I'll keep it this, ouch. I'll keep it the same. Now there are sometimes I'll have some um, some pasta. So when I want like some extra carbs to burn, when I know I'm ready to have like a heavy lead day or something, I'll make some pasta. Let me show you this. Um, I bought this one. This is a. It's from the Fresh Market. It's a roasted garlic chicken. Sometimes I'll buy these. Um, like if I run out of grocery groceries to like, you know, all of this. It's kind. It kind of reminds me of like. Hello Fresh. It has everything you need in here, but obviously they definitely don't give you enough seasoning. So season it as you wish. But this is a roasted garlic chicken. So literally they have, they give you everything that you need. The chicken's in here, the sauce is in here. So I could literally make um, this meal and it has pasta, it has the penne noodles, it has asparagus and it has chicken. So yeah, so like I said, when I know I have like more carbs that I want to burn, I'll have some pasta, you know? Like this last Sunday, I had, like things in moderation, you guys, like it doesn't have to be so strict. Blah, 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 blah. Like we went to this place called Sweetwater. They got these bomb rolls. I limited myself to two, because they're not that big, but two was it. Did I want more? I could've ate that whole basket, but I only ate two, and that was it. And I had, and I had pasta, and it was bomb. You know, just get yourself on a routine. That's why like the little things that I do, like, Ripping the joint off the wall. I do that every day. The I'm here when I'm at the gym, I do it every day. So that way, little things that I'm consistent with will overflow into bigger things that I need to be consistent with. And it just honestly helps me all the way around, y'all. It really does. So that is my fitness rant for right now. I'm about to send this thing real quick. I'm trying to make sure my bacon gets like extra, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get extra crispy. Sometimes I make my bacon and I'm thinking it's crispy. And it's really not. And I'm sitting there like eating a little wobbly piece of bacon. Fun fact about me, you guys, I love crunchy things, okay? If I eat fries, I want the crunchy, like hard pieces that'd be like at the bottom. McDonald's, for example, hear me out. When you get to the bottom of that fry, oh God. When you get to the bottom of that fry, give me the crunchy fries. Give me the crunchy fries, even Chick-fil-A. Give me the crunchy fries. I love crunchy fries. I like the regular fries too, but the crunchy fries, please. And also even like bring God into your um, your workouts too. I ask the Lord all the time, like God, give me an appetite for the healthy things. Give me an appetite, like I wanna crave water. I wanna crave fruit. When I really want a sweet tooth, and you gotta have people around you too that'll keep you accountable. I'm gonna tell you this, on Sunday, me, Sonny, and Sonny's mom, we went to church, right? And um, and I was in the car like, man, I just want something sweet. I'm like, that meal was good. And honestly, and hear me out, my cycle had just came on. So like, right after church, I'm cramping, bloated, the whole situation, like thing. And I was like, man, my stomach is hurting. I just want something sweet. So when I get on my cycle, I crave chocolate really bad. But I didn't get into it. I didn't even get any chocolate, y'all. I didn't even get any chocolate. I was like, man, I really want some, um, I really want something sweet. And I don't mean nothing healthy. Sonny was like, nah, man, you gotta stick to what you said you was gonna do. Can't do that. Like, she was like, go get you an acai bowl. Go get you some, some yogurt. And of course, I didn't wanna hear that at the time. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Let me tell you something. We ended up going to South Block. We drove over to like Pike and Rose area and we went to this place called South Block. South Block, they have like acai bowls, all the things. I now have a favorite place I can go to now for an acai bowl. I had one when I was back home. Since I obviously am not there anymore, I'm trying to find like all new things. So I'll go to like Tropical Smoothie, go get a smoothie, go get like one of those little chicken chicken wraps, um, those are really good. Um, but now I have a place where I can go get me an acai bowl and I'll put a picture of the acai bowl. Um, it's got, I put strawberries in it, blueberries, granola. It's got bananas blended into it. Like it is so good, got a honey on it. Bomb. So that is my little rant for today. So yeah, make me English muffin and it's gotta get crispy on the, it's gotta get crispy. But yeah, y'all, keep it cute, keep it simple, keep it consistent. That's it. <laughs>
That is it. And don't get so caught up on a timeline either because then you can stress yourself out and you're more than likely to quit because you're going to feel like progress isn't happening, but it is. And that's one thing I have wor uh, learned with working out and then I'm done with my rant. Working out is kind of like how God works. He works from the inside out. So a lot of the things that are happening in your life are gonna happen on the inside first before you even see it happen on the outside sometimes. You know, and what I mean by that is when you want something, God might just be like, all right, wait a minute. Like I gotta do something. And you first like hypothetically, for example, oh God, I want more money. Let's talk about tithing. Let's talk about how you manage your money. That's an internal thing. That's a hard thing. Let's talk about how you handle, how you feel about money. You know, that's gotta be worked out on the inside before you start to actually be a cheerful giver as the Lord calls us to be and give and give and do these things, right? Do our obligations. But yeah, a lot of things just happen internally. So when it comes to working out, you're gonna show up for a while. And when I say a while, I don't mean six months, but I mean a few weeks before you really start to see a huge difference. And that's why I always say document stuff. If you feel like you're not looking any different or progress, take pictures from day one, then on. So when you on day 30 or you on day 25 and you feel like I still look the same, go to day one, you will see difference. If you've been eating right and you've been moving that body of yours, you will see a difference. I guarantee you. It's a lady, I think her name is um, Kimberly. If I'm saying it wrong, girl, please forgive me, but um, she did 75 hard and I followed her journey, y'all. And she did 75 hard at the beginning of the year. And I tell you what, yeah, this girl right here. If you're watching this video, hey girl, I'll be following your stuff. But her right here, she did 75 hard and just go to her page and check it out. She does some Christian content. Love her stuff down. But it's super cute because she did 75 hard. And when you think that you might not have seen a difference, when she said, when she did that before and after, homegirl looks amazing and she's still doing it. So when I say I be getting inspired by people too, I'm like, yes, I love to see that. <laughs> I love to see that. Mm. Grace and peace and good morning, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you. Today is Thursday, April the 11th. It's my dad's birthday. I have to send him a text message. And luckily, luckily I'm going down back home this weekend so I can see my mom. And um, if my dad is off, cause he is good for working on any holiday, anything that could seem important, he will be working. I don't understand him. <laughs> But his birthday is today, so I'm gonna send him a sweet message. Or if he's not working, I'm gonna call him because, yeah, we do phone calls over here. Yeah, so outside of that, it's the morning time. I woke up really early this morning because me and my sister was talking about how she wants to start waking up earlier. She was like, all right, call me at 4.15. So I was like, bet. So silly old me, by the time I got up, I think it was like five o'clock on the dot, I called her. But um, I knew she was gonna get up on her own, but I just told her, I said I would help her. I told her I would try and keep her accountable so she can make sure she gets you know, her goal and stuff. So I told her I was gonna call her, but I ended up calling her at like five on the dot. But luckily she was already up. I could tell she was in the car and we do this thing. We be mocking Michael Jackson and um, <clears throat> and we be doing like, oh please, oh God. Weeks, oh God. You've had a dimple made oh, in your please, chin. Please, You've had please. your lips in. When I answered the phone, she was like, I'm up. Oh please, oh God, like please. I'm, I'm already up. So I was like, period, you're on your stuff then, period. It's the effort. <laughs> it is the effort that counts because I ain't have to, you know what I'm saying? But obviously, I want to help out if I can. Hopefully y'all will stay up there. I don't know why it's so wobbly today. Anyway, put my good contacts in. Y'all, yesterday you should have seen my eyeballs. I was outside for so long working because it was so nice. It was like 76 degrees. So I was like, Tuh. go outside and do a little bit of work. I think I was outside for like three hours working. It was crazy. I had a meeting. I worked for like an hour inside. And then um, it's like in my apartment, we have like so many like seating areas. It's actually kind of insane. Um, so I'm gonna start going down there to work. I try not to go down there because I don't like leaving Avery. So 
So I stay in the house most of the time. But Avery, listen, your mama gotta do what she gotta do for her mind. So I'm gonna start going down there and work. So that's what I did yesterday. And um, and then I was like, and I was on the phone with Lacey and I was like, wait, Lacey, I'm like, isn't it nice outside? Hold on. And I go and test it. Um, I'll go and check the weather and y'all it felt so good outside so I packed up my bag after I had a meeting after my meeting I packed up my bag and I went outside and I was out there for so long y'all I was out there for so long and I think it just irritated my eyes like crazy because when I tell you my eyes or bloodshot red, or bloodshot red, no exaggeration. I'm like, obviously I wanna make sure that my eyes are good. So I had to put in some eye drops. I took my contacts out, I went to Bible study yesterday. I took my contacts out, everything. Cause I was like, I cannot, like just absolutely not. I don't think I got a tan yesterday, but the but the sun was out there baking your girl. They're baking y'all, baking. Like just look at my skin this morning. Mm, mm. It looks so good, so healthy. Y'all, we are taking the braids out today. Once I'm done working and getting what I need done. Actually, I take that back. That might be a, something that happens tonight because I have somewhere to be tomorrow. But I wanna take these out like expeditiously. I've had these in over a month, it's ridiculous. So, <clears throat> but I wanna still clean my house. I did not get to clean my house yesterday. Yesterday was a really long work day. And then by the time I had to leave to get ready for church, I didn't have enough time. I hadn't even eaten yet. I had breakfast, but I didn't even eat any like dinner. So we ended up going to this taco place and we got, I got a taco. When I say I got a loaded taco, I got one. Loaded taco, had rice, beans, shrimp, lettuce. It had all the things in it, bomb. Had that, and then I came home, had a protein bar. Yeah, I had one protein bar. Oh, and then I ate one chicken breast. Cause yesterday was looking at a struggle meal situation. I don't know what the world I was doing. I was just trying to work and get stuff done. I a bit a little under yesterday for my protein intake. So I gotta make sure I hit my macro today. All right, y'all, let me put on my gym clothes and brush my teeth. I'm gonna be running my mouth and brush my teeth yet. BRB. Teeth are brushed and clean. So funny, the favorite, my favorite part of my day is this right here. I get up early, I take my time to get ready for the gym. I worship a little bit or get in the word. I get dressed, then I go to the gym. Like, it's just a whole thing. And when I tell you, so I'm tripping because Wonder Active has restocked like everything. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like itching to buy stuff. All right, you guys, let me put on my gym clothes, BRB. Y'all, when I say you have to be quick on Wonder Active, it was two pair of shorts I was trying to get and I'm in the bathroom just, mm, oh, they restocked everything. Mm, so I was ready to check out. They gave me an alert saying two of your items are out of stock now that quick oh, so i'll have to go back they they seem to restock fairly often because i could check it every day and i would see something that i would want that's why i was saying earlier like i had a bunch of like little orders from them i would definitely say if you're trying to get in on some of the stuff go ahead and have apple pay hooked up to your phone it just makes the process quicker and easier um yeah it just makes the process easier and quicker because you ain't gotta stand there and like type in all of your information. You can just Apple Pay that joint and go. So that way you have a better chance of your order going through and being processed and so forth. So that's just my two cents. I have on the schedule like isolated leg workout, but it's gonna be a mixture of like hamstrings and glutes um, and quads. So it's kind of like a mixture. And I might throw in some back. I just need to, tomorrow, let's see, tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is gonna be full body, but it may be like full body focused back workout definitely want to get a back workout in <sighs> but i am ready for the gym so let's go that's why so pretty now y'all cock to the side first so Truth. Woo. 
This is breakfast this morning. Usually I do two English muffins, but I've been kind of doing the same breakfast every morning. And I usually do two. Well, I usually do one whole one, but I'm not gonna do one whole one today. I'm gonna just do a half. Um, and that's gonna be breakfast. I've had my protein smoothie, which was bomb. I think I'm gonna work outside of the house again today just to get some stuff done. And then I'm gonna come back home and do my hair. As long as I've had braids in, I had these in. I got these done March 6th. And it's April 11th. <laughs> it's, it's been time. Girl. I actually want to go to South Block today and work in the Emin Acai Bowl. That's the move. I'm doing the hard thing, y'all. <laughs> I'm doing it.